Artists in the 19th century. As a young girl, I possessed a deep admiration for the realm of creativity, finding profound empowerment in expressing myself through art. My father, an enthusiastic painter, played a pivotal role in nurturing my passion by generously sharing his expertise with me. For this project, I opted to, visit, to revisit one of my favorite museums, the Getty Museum. Its profound impact on me stems from being the first museum I ever visited as an aspiring art enthusiast. From my earliest memories, I recalled being completely fascinated with France and its cultural heritage. This unwavering fascination made the experience of witnessing masterpieces by renowned French artists at the Getty all, more, all the more meaningful. Pierre Auguste Renoir was a French painter born on February 25th, 1841 in Limoges, France. He was one of the most influential figures of the Impressionist movement was particularly known for his vibrant and colorful paintings that captivated scenes from everyday life, mostly focusing on the beauty of leisurely activities, landscapes, and portraits. He became friends with other prominent Impressionist artists from his time, such as Claude Monet, Frederick Basile, and Alfred Sisley. His works often depicted joyful and idyllic scenes, reflecting his belief in the beauty of everyday life. Early in his career, he faced many financial struggles, but later gained lots of recognition and success later in life. In his later years, Renoir continued to paint despite suffering from arthritis, which severely affected his mobility, but he fortunately adapted his techniques using a brush strapped to his paralyzed hand to continue creating art. Once again, displaying his overtly positive attitude towards life, Renoir once stated, The pain passes, but the beauty remains. When I visited the Getty Museum, I stumbled across one of Renoir's most renowned paintings created in 1870 titled as The Promenade, also known as La Promenade in French. It depicts a fashionable couple strolling along leisurely through a sun-dappled landscape. The man in the painting is often identified as Renoir's brother Edmund, while the mo woman is believed to be Nini Lopez, a friend of the Renoir family. The painting captures a moment of leisure and intimacy, mm -hmm. characteristics of Renoir's early work. The couple appears to be relaxed and content, enjoying each other's company and Miss Nature's beauty. The vibrant colors in this brushwork typical of Impressionism are evident in this piece, conveying a sense of movement and spontaneity. Renoir's use of warm colors is one of the most defining features of his style. The couple's clothing is adorned with complementary colors that stand out against the flourishing green backdrop, adding a visual interest and juxtaposition to the composition. His manipulation of color not only captivates the beauty of nature, but also enhances the sense of joyfulness conveyed in the painting. Light plays a crucial role in Renoir's depiction of the scene as well. The scattered sunlight that seems to bounce off the leaves in the background creates a harmonious display between light and shadow, adding a sense of depth to the composition. Renoir handles the light very strategically by not only illuminating the couple, but adds light to the landscape as well, allowing it to have a very luminous and inviting environment. The dynamic of light and shadow contributes to the paint's sense of movement and spontaneity, inviting the viewer to immerse themselves in the ambiance of the moment. Renoir's brushwork is a perfect reflection of Impressionism as the strokes are very fluid and spontaneous. The Promenade also employs loose brushstrokes to capture the fleeting light in the atmosphere, which conveys a sense of movement and energy, as seen in the swirling patterns of light and the dynamic between the couple's clothing. Renoir's stylistic choice of paint and texture adds depth to the painting to, to invite the viewer to also engage on an emotional level. While the promenade is primarily celebrated for its aesthetic qualities of, and portrayal of everyday life, it also reflects the social and cultural context of its time. The 19th century witnessed significant changes in French society, including the rise of a prosperous middle class with leisure time to indulge in activities such as promenading in parks and gardens. Renoir's painting captures this aspect of contemporary life, offering a glimpse into the leisure pursuits of the bourgeoisie during the Belle Époque. The Promenade is considered a masterpiece of Impressionist art, and luckily I had the privilege of witnessing, not, witnessing it not only in the Getty Museum, but also in the Musée d'Orsay in Paris last summer. Franz Xavier Winterhalter was born in the Grand Duchy of Baden in 1805. He was a prominent German portrait painter known for his elegant and flattering portrayals of European royalty and aristocracy during the 19th century. In his early life, he received training in Freiburg, and he later received training at the Munich Academy under the painter Joseph Styler. Winterhalter's reputation grew steadily and began painting portraits for various European courts in France, England, Belgium, Spain, and Russia. 
His art style was deeply rooted in academic tradition, yet he also incorporated elements of romanticism, particularly in his portrayal of his subjects with a sense of idealized beauty. He became renowned for his ability to capture the grace and elegance of his subjects, and his works continue to be housed in numerous museums worldwide. Towards the end of his career, as demand for portraits declined, he faced some financial struggles, but he continued to persevere as he had demonstrated a distinguished and refined talent for his work. His ability to adapt to change was what allowed him to not only become one of the most renowned portrait artists of his time, but also allowed him to navigate the competitive landscape of the art world. Werner Halter's renowned piece titled Portrait of Leonella, Princess of St. Wittgenstein Sane, depicts the Russian princess Leonella, who married into the German aristocracy as the princess. She was known for her, ex her exceptional beauty and intellect, and in this co composition she is depicted in a lavish gown, seated elegantly in an extravagant setting. She gazes confidently at the viewer, exuding an aura of sophistication and allurement. Winter Halter illuminates her face with a sense of warmth and cast shadows that define her features. The play of light on the luxurious fabrics on, of her gown create a sense of texture and richness, further enhancing the grandeur of the scene. His use of color is rich and harmonious, contributing to the overall vibrancy and elegance. The ivory tones of her gown and pink sash deliver a sense of elegance and grace. These rich colors not only reflect the luxury of her attire, but also serve to accentuate her status in society. Winterhalter employs graceful flowing lines throughout the composition to convey a sense of movement and rhythm. The curves along Leonella's figure and the sweeping lines of her gown create a visual flow that draws the attention from the, view from the viewer across the canvas. Her gaze is aimed directly at the viewer, which has always been a controversial position in history, whether it be for religious or gender-biased reasons. When I first saw this painting, what stood out to me was her sense of confidence. And I thought of how striking it must have been to be another woman during her time seeing this painting. I would have felt inspired to see another woman in a position of power being so comfortable in her skin, presenting herself to the world in such a graceful yet challenging way. I believe her gaze was the most striking aspect of this composition because it says so much about her personality and how she, she chose to present herself to the world without saying anything. That is how powerful her gaze is. Overall, Winterhalter's portrait of Leonella is a masterful example of his ability to use light, color, lines, and composition to create a visually stunning and culturally significant portrait. Through his skillful manipulation of these elements, Winterhalter captures not only the physical beauty of the, his subject, but also the essence of her elegant sophistication and social standing. Appreciating the profound impact of Renoir and Winterhalter's composition on society and recognizing their ability to inspire us is truly enlightening. It is remarkable to witness how individuals, even amidst crises, demonstrate resilience, adaptability, and the capacity to turn obstacles into opportunities for personal growth and meaningful contributions to society.